Welcome back. This is Reich. This is uh, my second episode I've done today. So it's currently like 1 in the morning, or way later than that, actually like 1.40. But um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out a way to get over there down where, like I'm supposed to, but I can't really figure out a platform that will take me down. That will take me down. Speedrun trick, I guess. I don't know. So here we go with this dough. We're going to find something of pleasure. So... Grab a mushroom. Uh, what? So we gotta pay for mmm juicy. So this dude is hooked on phonics, and is there anything cool in here besides that fan, man? So, uh, pay the man. Okay, so clearly I gotta pay that dude. It just cost rubies to do that. So do I seriously have to hit it a hundred times? Cause I'm just gonna speed this up if I have to, but man, that this pixel has to be so okay. Well oh ooh, that's a big that's a big one. So you know the secret? Uh cause I do Dude, this music is so dope. So the secret part, if you're close to your people, is imagining a what real hard that the world's gone. Man, this is like my accent, so, um, welcome pod, that's like half-assing it, come on man. So, anybody who's too skinny in the thrills, man, oh, he's, he's gonna set the thrill gauge to 11, so here goes, one, dos, trezem, quattro, shit, wait, he skipped forward also, oh wait, no, he went back to it, 17, alrighty, he's making mathematics, one marzillion. So here we go. I'm just saying everything that he's saying because I like to pretend like I have decent commentary, but sometimes we gotta dust up the ancient part, two thousand year old parts. So we got my boy. Um, his name is Slim. Okay, that's why they gave him a hick accent for some reason, cause Papa Pale Slim, or no, it was Clem. But um, playing hide and seek is the biggest thrill, dude. It's Standing directly still and waiting for others to find you in, in a very hard to find environment. So now with Slim, I feel like we can do something like go over and under and up and down. So basically, I believe since I just already got Slim, um, I don't have to go into the VIP room because there's no reason to when... Uh, okay, will this shock me? Yes. Uh, going into the, going into the VIP room is pointless when uh, you don't have to, cause oh, I guess I do need that passcode. But I got slim anyway, so <laughs> let's see. Can I go in? Access access denied. Enter passcode eight seven 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 eight nine eight seven. Incorrect. Acid tree. So clearly, I do need to actually get all those monies. So. I'm gonna go work and get those monies, honeys. Okay, so I got a hundred rupees. It didn't take that long, but long enough to where I'm going to have to cut some footage. So, um, uh, looking at the timer, yeah, it didn't take that long. It didn't even take a minute, I think. So the dude who wanted a hundred was in here, if I remember correctly. I believe he should be, if I give him a hundred, he'll give me the passcode to the VIP, the VIP room, and then in, once I give the other guy 10,000, so. So, oh, this is the guy who wants 10,000. And it's the guy downstairs. So let's just warp into a room down here. And with a room down under, we can find that I can heal if necessary. But what I do need is the... Mmm, juicy. So uh, what I do need to do is talk to this guy. So let's pay the man. Like, your mom taught you trust strangers? Well, so the VIP room caster is 5963. Man, I said 4569, that's not a bad guess, and I'm surprised I actually remember that, so let's just hope I can remember the number by the time I get over there, because I imagine there are people who definitely do not, or they at least forgot to write it down or something, but I, maybe I don't have enough faith in people, so enter passcode 5963, passcode accepted, please enter, so here we go, yeah, the gerbil room, so run gerbils, uh, <laughs> uh Maybe that was just something that was ingrained in my head. So basically, we gotta earn 10,000. And to earn 10,000, you just gotta hop on pop. So, 
uh, yeah, major upgrade from the other room. So, yeah, I'm ready. So, um, yeah, I'm ready, dude. So, basically, I'm going to have to sit here and wait for the rubies to just come rolling in. So, I'll be back with you guys when I'm done. Okay, we did it, we did it, we got 10,000. That literally took about 7 minutes of just si sitting there walking. I literally got up from my chair, held down my thumb on the Wiimote, and just walked over to my bed, checked my phone, Twitter, all the social media apps, which you can follow me on if you're one of those kind of people. I don't know if you're one of those kind of people. I can't assume things about your life. So here we go. So... Here we go, dumping 10,000 on you. So, you better start. So, okay. 4126281641262816. 4126281614126281816. So, um, I'm pretty sure I can remember that. It's just eight numbers, but they're really close together. But, you know, sometimes when numbers get very close together, they just uh, make a baby. That's how it works, right? There's no sex, it's just budding. So, speed run up the ladder, then just hop into a new dimension, snap into a slim gym, here we go, bam. So, dude, I remember it, four, one, two, six, two, oh wait, no, eight, one, six, there we go, I did it, and look at all those rubies. It's got to be at least 500,000. Aw, shit. Nah. Dude, they even have, like, the, the little, like, metal door handle thingy that, like, from when you open up the door and it locks in. Not the handle, but, like, the little actual, like, lock, lock, lock part. So, I got a million, so let's just, uh, go along our merry little way. So, um, how was your day? No. <laughs> so... So, Ruby Savings and Loans, I want to deposit dad ass. So, um, we got over a million. So, how did I do it? I stole your own rubies and gave it back to you. Um, so the curse is broken, and you're like, yeah! So she's, you're going to see that she's actually not just Mimi, but part dead. No. Oh, we're about to find out. But, you know, that young imp cursed mansion, who was she, really? So, you know what? This video is also going to be really short. Um, but if you found Slim, it ain't. Uh, but, you know what? I'm just going to keep on rolling in for a bit until the next episode. I'll at least find a decent save spot. Because, you know... You guys are going to get gypped over a lot. Like, my recording length right now is really long. Like, it's a normal, it's more than a normal length episode, but I just got missed out on so much. So the handmade Mimi disappeared in a bizarre explosion. What exactly was her plan? Well, here we go, Princess Peach. I have, I completely even forgot that I had Peach as a character of which could be played as. I probably could have gotten some of those debts to be paid down a little bit less more. So, words are speaking things that are kind of hard at times. So, with my boy Slim, we're going to find a pure heart being near and queer, so... Wait, what? Uh... Somebody said text. Oh, ooh, that... Mm. Oh, God. She even got the heels, dough. And look how big that gleam is coming off them sunglasses. Like, that shit ain't even attached. So I'm literally not reading a single thing she's saying, trying to just, you know what, let's just try to move forward. Um, she was speaking in like half braille, like she put a little bit more effort into that, but so why is the light shining down? The world may never know until we hit this box and the world will know.
It's just a mushy. So, let's see. Some doors. A safe spot, exactly what I needed. Let's say progress. I'll always go in the further away door, because I don't know why. They usually make that one the right one, not the first one. And then it's, oh, we do we have a doll maze? Oh, it's Poisey, room two. Well, room two is going to be dunking on that mushy. And so if I go back, what will we find inside this room? Oh, I just hit my arm. That's going to pop up on the mic as a really loud moment. I just literally hit my like wrist on the uh, very, very sharp corner of this desk. So room one. Well, where does room one go? Uh, it goes into this room. Room Trez. I was going to say Room Trez M, but I keep doing that anyway. So, why can't I jump on you? I've done it before, I swear. There's one, one Dunkaroo. Uh, these guys keep like multiplying into things I can't even comprehend mentally. Maybe I'm mentally incomprehensible. So, here we go. Just taking damage, because you know what? We kiss. Okay, this is getting out of hand. I'm about to have to go Galaga on these guys. Oh, or not. So. An uppermost platform is going to be... Oh. Uh, I don't know where I am. And I'm just running in between doors. In between being inside. There's a guy somewhere down... Oh my god, it's that dude. So, if you remember this dude, I'm willing to bet this still works. Wow, that only took one loop. Are you kidding me? Man. Games these days. So... Uh, nah, it's still not even a regular length episode, so yeah, I still got more time to kill. Uh, so now I'm starting to figure out the maze of this whole place, because everything just loops into itself here, except for this door, which actually leads to a different path. So we know not to go into that door, and to flip 3D and find a magical world of dimension shifting box. And in order to get up there, you gotta... Uh, wait, how do I hit... Oh, that's how I hit it. I was like, how is that even possible? So, upstairs in this beautiful land of Merlita Lee. So, thank you for coming. I should probably flip dimensions, so it happened. Uh, it's you, Merle. Um, did you just, like, just show up? Or. So, help me out, yo. We want a pure heart and co. That's a pun if you knew me in real life. So. Um, 10 million rubies, um, sign. Good, we've made a wise choice. No, it can't be so. Oh, snap. Yeah, I totally wasn't listening. So, I think I know what this is. What are you thinking? Is your brain shrinking? Man, don't sh sign, show some spine. Man, like... Man, you're over here rapping at me 90s style. I'm just trying to go to... Oh, god damn it. Oh, I think they were both... I think they were both uh, no options, even though I thought it was going to be top. Because, like, me. Because uh, the other one was, like, uh, forget it, I think. I looked when I looked for, like, half a second. So, this would be Mimi. And Mimi is, looks like kind of like a duck. But she's also part spider, apparently. True Mimi, come forth. Turn into form of a bucket of sideways heads and opened eyes. So, as she's just like transforming into Cybertron, we're gonna try to find that is icky. Um, me, 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 yuck. Yeah, agreed. Why didn't you just sign the fucking contract? We never would have had to deal with this bullshit. So, like, me, 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 me. Um, I must suggest you flee. Okay, rap battles. I don't care for this. So, it said I should run away. That's kind of a mean thing to do, but I guess I can. Is she gonna, like, hunt me through the doors? Um. Well, this one leads back up and around and up to get down. Uh, while well, I ran away. Um. I don't know what I accomplished. But I ran away. I sure did a thing. Um, was I supposed to run away? Uh, I guess I can speed this up up until when I find out whether or not I was supposed to run away. Cause, I mean, she got to be around here somewhere, right? Well, you know what? Actually, 
I will put that next time. I will see all of y'all later.